Hi friends, in the next video of this 2 minute pathology series, we will discuss an important image which is important for second year MBBS students also and for the entrance exam aspirants as well. So the image is that of a tumor known as schwannoma and this image has two distinct areas. On the left we have lots of cells so that is the hypercellular area. And on the right, we have less of cells, a loose tissue that is a hypocellular area. The hypercellular area is also known as the antennae A area. And the hypocellular area is also known as the antennae B area. In the hypercellular or the antennae A area, there is a structure known as the verruque body. Please note in the hypercellular area. What is this Veruke body? So let's see a better image. In the Veruke body, you see that we have two rows of nuclei which are showing palisading. They are parallel to each other, nuclear palisading. In between them are present all the cytoplasmic processes. So this is a Veruke body. Please try to correlate this with the actual image. Two rows of nuclear palisading and cytoplasmic processes in between. Next, you need to know certain important points like this is a benign tumor of the Schwann cells. It is associated with a very important syndrome that is bilateral acoustic schwannoma. Please note this is the same that is also known as NF2. So acoustic means it involves the eighth cranial nerve and bilateral obviously means both sides. So if you are asked which is the chromosome associated with bilaterality of schwannoma, NF2, so 2 times 2, it is chromosome number 22. The third thing that you need to know is that this particular tumor when involving the spinal cord and the vertebral foramen or the vertebral canal has a special shape that is also known as the dumbbell-shaped tumor. These are all the important points that you need to know about schwannoma. Thank you and good luck.